As I have been, oh my gosh, just relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. There's nothing better than to be in the protection of your home. Just literally chilling. Like, no one has bothered me. The hubby has been downstairs. He made me breakfast, um, brought me some snacks later. Just been catering to me. And um, I am sitting here smelling some good, good smells from downstairs. The girls came home and just gave me all the love. We talked and just laughed and, you know, was being silly. Now they're in their rooms doing whatever. And I just want to say to you guys that um, be thankful. I say be thankful because, you know, we have some goals and stuff we want to achieve. So we have to set some things to the side in, or, in order to achieve those goals. It's things that I would love to do with my family and I would love to do on impulse and put priorities to the side. But as an adult, we just can't do those things sometimes. You know, you have to sacrifice a lot of things for things to be better later. So I was sitting here thinking, I said, you know what? The greatest gift that I can actually say that I've gotten was the fact that I woke up this morning. We're in the midst of a shutdown. Y'all, I'm chilling, so I'm not about to sit up and be all extra for this video. I got my little thing my husband bought me for Christmas. Um, it says, let's snuggle. I'm just chilling, okay? So the biggest gift that I can say that I got was waking up and being here for my kids. If you just close your eyes and think about how much you love your children and your family and the bond that you have if you was to lose if, if you were to lose your life or not be there for them, how horrible would that make them feel when they wake up to know you weren't there? Um, not only that, but you being able to wake up and have use and activity of all your limbs and being able to taste, taste, touch, feel, walk, crawl, whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? Life can be so much worse for any of us and every day that you're here every year month hour minute that god gives you another chance to be here is a total blessing so let's start thinking things could be so much worse they could be so much worse that allow you to be content appreciative and it'll allow you to want things that are more important in life versus things that people think you should have because that that shouldn't even matter it should be all about you i went to the bathroom early this morning i'm like you know what i'm able to get up to go use the bathroom on my own you know what it's a shutdown right now some people are panicking some people are not some people are trying not to think too hard about it some people don't want to think about it and we're all so many of us in different situations. Some people got enough money to deal with what may come. Some people don't. You get what I'm saying? Um, but we're all in different situations. Some people are in the midst of losing things, everything right now. Some people are in the midst of losing it all right now, mentally and materialistic, because financially they can't go on. They didn't have enough money to survive. Because they didn't have priorities in order as far as savings for a time such as this. If it goes as far as some are thinking it may go. I don't want to overstress or over worry. I'm going to do what I can um, to, to stay mentally sane. And allow God to do what he needs to do when the time comes. Along with me being you know, able to do what I'm supposed to do as well. I only can do what I can do. But all of us could be in a worse situation no matter what your situation is if you have been blessed to make it to that level it could be worse because there's levels and there's people on levels that are 10 times worse than yours and they're still up and they can be smiling and being content and being thankful you need to do the same it's my birthday and i was like oh uh, mom's was like, you want to do this? You want to do that? Rizzy kept asking me, mom, what you want to do? You want to do, mommy, I got money. I want to buy you something. And she does. The little girl got money in the bank and, you know, saved up or whatever. And she wanted to do something so special. I'm like, no, just love on me. I want to love on y'all. Y'all love on me. I just want to be here. I want to kiss y'all, talk to y'all, and then just enjoy this day and just leave me alone. Like, not try to be funny, but just leave me alone. Just let me just be in this room. And if I call, y'all bring it. If I want something, y'all bring it. I am in here catching up on this my mother-in-law been trying to tell me girl you need to get on i'm telling you it's good so i'm still on season one but i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it i'm not trying to be on social media i'm not trying to do anything i'm just 
living my little life like it's golden because you know what it is and some people would love to have the life I have because they're on a level that is worse than mine and here I am on a level where yeah I want a lot of things I want to achieve a lot of goals and I want more things in my life that I feel that I deserve and I should have but until they come I'm always be thankful for where I am and I just want y'all to know that be thankful for where you are thank God for where you are when God sees that you're appreciative and you do much with the little that he gives you trust me if you have dreams goals and desires and you do what you're supposed to do he gonna make it happen so don't get mad that it doesn't happen fast for you like other people's everything happens in your season and it's for a reason and it's for the perfect timing in your life so don't beat yourself up just be thankful for every day that you wake up all right depending on what we make i'm going to share that with you guys and show y'all it smells so good listen i'm not trying to get on the camera and be cute on the time to eat dinner so i might just show y'all a little bit of it i don't know if i'm gonna be sitting up and all that because i got the medias out you know medea situation going on but i love you guys i love all of you who sent me birthday shout outs who sent me birthday well wishes i just appreciate everything i appreciate everything um and yeah so that's all i wanted to say going back to watching my show but let me tell y'all it smells like heaven in this house right now my husband but be burning in that kitchen okay y'all he be burning so i can't wait to see what he got he's like i got you babe i got you i got you so we shall see so i'll talk to you guys later and um hopefully i'll be adding to this um you know what he made if not y'all just was enjoying myself so forgive me if y'all don't get to see it but your girl try to do what she can all right all right love you guys Hubby asking, was I ready? I said, yes. Oh, I'm mad. Yes. OMG. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. This looks so freaking good. Oh, my gosh. He did me a crab boil. OMG. I know I love my crabs. Hold on, y'all. He made me a T-bone steak. Oh my gosh, I bet it's so tender. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. Mm -mm. I'm about to bust it open. Hold on. Oh, look, I just got my drink. Favorite. That's the strawberry on. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh, get in here. Where did you get in here? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. OMG. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? Got shrimp, corn, potatoes, ooh, sausage, crab legs, and my eggs. Yes, God. Yes, God. I'm about to grub. Yes. Oh my gosh. Let me see. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you so much, babe. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh it's so pretty, babe. Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh. Let me blow it out. Hold on, y'all. Ready? You be not it? <laughs> Y'all, he made a crab boil. I recorded me opening this. It has everything in it. And I'm about to grow up. And he got me a T-bone. And my favorite drink. This is the perfect birthday. They really did this. The first slice of Mama's cake. 
Got it. Ooh. Ooh, that strawberry cake so good. They like truly melted my heart. I just got out the shower and y'all have butter and everything all over the place. So let me get my butt in the shower. And I'm back in my room with my sparkle teeny. And I ate some cake. The cake was freaking delicious. Oh, you guys seen it. Um, I gave Rizzy the first piece, but the cards that they wrote me was so freaking heartfelt and it's nothing like when you're able to create your family and um, just having family, period. I didn't want to say the wrong things. I try to be mindful of what I say because everybody can't have children or whatever the case may be, so I try to be mindful. I don't ever want to hurt anybody because I'm just thankful that I'm able to, but it is a beautiful thing and I can't deny that it's not a beautiful thing. Yeah, that was Rizzy calling me because I also, um, I told my husband I'd taste for root beer flow and he ended up getting that today too. But when I say I'm stuffed, I couldn't even finish my T-bone. So he's putting that away. I'll probably eat that later on tonight or in the morning with some eggs or something. Um, that crab boil was so freaking good. The sausage, eggs, shrimp, corn, potatoes, crab legs was so tasty and that steak was so freaking good. Oh my gosh. And the cake to top it off, y'all. I just thank God for my husband. I thank God for my children. My daughter came out the room with the cake. I'm like, when I was eating and I was done, it was a like, happy birthday. They came out with the cake. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <sighs> just amazing. Just amazing. But, yep, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed me sharing a little bit of my birthday and sharing it with my loved ones because that's all that matters. Those memories are the ones that I'm going to hold on to. And, y'all, excuse me, I didn't realize that the hubby had 25th birthday on my cake i didn't realize that <laughs> i was like bae he was like yeah I, said, I did not even know until i went to cut it i was like say 25 y'all your girl's 25 it's supposed to be 21 but he played too much he's trying to get me to be older than i'm supposed to be but i love you guys and i will see you guys later gators i hope you guys are having a good evening all right